pregnant woman with her husband came to the OG department for her delivery. She was really worried, as her last child died after delivery. Soon after a day she had a normal vaginal delivery, it was cute little boy baby. They were happy to see their son. But suddenly, he started gasping and developed dyspnea. The baby became cyanist. Our doctors tried to intubate the baby, but it coughed up chunky gelatinous sputum. But finally even after maximum effort the baby died in minutes. What is the diagnosis? It is pulmonary alveolar prognosis. What is pulmonary alveolar prognosis? It is type of interstitial lung disease due to macrophage dysfunction which results in accumulation of surfactant in the lungs. First let's see the normal physiology. Normally, granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor activates the alveolar macrophages. The activated macrophages clears the excess and old surfactants from the lung. This is the normal process. In pulmonary alveolar prognosis egg antibodies are directed against granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor. This results in destruction of granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor. Hence there is very less activation of macrophages, and the surfactant is not cleared, and continues to accumulate in the lung. This is the exact case scenario of our baby. In utero the baby respires via placenta, but when it is born it has to use the lung for gas exchange, which is not possible here. Thus they become cyanist and die very soon. Moving on to etiology. It is of two types. One congenital. Due to surfactant protein B mutation, inherited as autosomal recessive pattern. Two acquired which is more common and is due to listen to protein intolerance, occurs in 30 to 50 years old. Let's see the investigations for this case. PAS plus V chunky gelatinous sputum. Chest X-ray reveals bilateral mid and basal lung infiltrates, similar to bat wing appearance. Chest shows ground glass appearance. Other finding are polycythemia, hypergamyglobulinemia and increased LDH. Treatment for pulmonary alveolar prognosis is whole lung lavage, through a double lumen and a tracheal tube. That's all for today, hope it was a new learning experience for you. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates. Now for today's question, what is the most common mutation seen in congenital surfactant deficiency? Comment down the answer below. We will catch up soon until then it's bye from Dr. Harrison. Thank you for watching.